there's always these key serendipitous moments in your life where they there's forks and you take one fork and then your life is changed and one of these moments was I was actually at Kendall Mountain Film Festival <laughs> and I there was a the original base camp so we're talking quite a few years ago now 2018 the original base camp was in a slightly different area and there was yurts these kind of yurts mm. and some of the brands had their yurts in this area and Low Alpine was one of the brands and I just so happened to be walking into one of the yurts at a specific moment during the day. And I heard out of the corner of my ear, someone saying, oh, we're looking for a new creative direction, something edgy, raw, real, someone who's living that lifestyle to, to come in. And I had one business card on me and I was walking around this yurt sort of in a circular direction thinking, right, have I got the confidence to sort of yeah. follow this through and speak to someone? This was the first thing I'd never done. I'd never done anything paid before. And I circled all the way back around to where this lady, Alex, her what name was. And then I just thought, right, I've got to take this chance. So I approached her and said, look, my name's Ian. I do brand photography and adventure photography and this kind of stuff. I gave her my business card. And then she said, yeah, okay, we'll have a look at the website and get back to you. And then on the Sunday night, when I got home from Kendall, I stayed up to about two in the morning and put together a mood board. And then I made sure about 7 a.m. that mood board was sent on an email. So that would be the first email she received that day. And then she responded and said, look, yeah, we'll get back to you in a couple of weeks. And then two or three weeks later, I got a phone call asking whether I was available to go to Tenerife for a week to do a new sort of campaign shoot for their new rucksacks that were coming available. And everything in that moment was absolute imposter syndrome, mm. like fierce imposter syndrome of there's no way I can pull this off. There's, I've, I've muddled my way through this to now, and, but I agreed to it. And then that really went well. I was really happy with the content, so with the brand. And then I worked with them for a number of years and that a few sort of autumn, winter and summer campaigns set the foundation of me being able to then pitch further work. Oh, that's fantastic, Ian. It's funny, it's a, a recurring theme that comes up in these chats. It's like something, there's that, like you say, there's that crossroads moment and it's mm. when people actually go for it and just have the confidence to kind of put themselves out there and be a bit vulnerable and they, they go for it. But then the imposter syndrome thing, again, I mean, I'm still get that at the minute, even doing this, speaking to you and, like, as I said, speaking to Matt last night as well. It's amazing. Yeah. And I mean, your work is great. So it's, it's yeah, it's fantastic. So are you still, you're still doing work with that brand t today, aren't you? Not low Alpine, no. Nowadays, it's a, a couple of other brands, yeah, like sort of, sort of the, some of the big sort of. Oh, so brands. that was low Alpine. Sorry, I thought that was Phil Rat. Phil Rat. I can never say that. Phil <laughs> Raven. Yeah. Phil Raven. It's bad enough. The Scottish brogue. 